Hello everyone. Point of sale UPI payment module allowed to configure multiple UPI payment method and set them inside different point of sale sessions to use independently. After installing this module, we need to do some configurations for setup and UPI. For that, let's get into the point of sale. Under the configurations, you can see the payment methods. So here I have created one UPI payment where I have enabled the journal and also I have enabled the UPI. Okay. So here we need to enable the UPI payments. Uh, this is the one which I have already created. To create a new one, you can just create a new one for the UPI. For example, PI. Okay. Okay. Now let's create. And here we need to add the image. So here we can add the image of the UPI. And here we need to enable and visible on the point of sale screen. So if it is enabled, it will be visible on the point of sale screen of the payment. Okay. And here we need to add an UPI name like uh, UPI for Access Bank, for example. Okay. And here we need to give an UPI code like, for example, I'm going to give the UPI code. And here we need to give the configuration for which shop we need this. So once it is done, let's save this one. And let's save this UPI cache and let's get into the point of sale now. Now, in this point of sale screen, let's add end product. So from here, let's do the payment. And you can see the UPI payments are here. We have enabled two UPI payments. You can see those two right away here. Now, once user click on that, it will open a wizard where we can see the name and also a QR code for completing the payment. Once user scan this QR code, it will redirect the user to the UPI that we have configured in the configuration part. And also you can see the confirm option as well as the close option right away here. Once you click on the confirm, you can just validate it from here. And in the receipt, you can see and payment method of UPA will be there in the receipt page. And also let's get into the configurations under that you can see the payment method. Let's get into one of the UPI which we have created. In this payment method form, if UPA is not enabled, then the multiple UPA configured under the UPA is not shown in the point of sale. Instead of that, UPA is shown. In this way, we can make use of this module to configure multiple UPA payment method and set them inside a different point of sale session to use independently. If you have any queries regarding this video, you can ask in the comment box. We will definitely solve your queries and if you feel this video is helpful to you, you can like this video and subscribe our YouTube channel for more Oro related updates. Thanks for watching.